Did you realize international trading systems discriminate against developing nations and more so its poorest nations? Today, I want to tell you a story about a poor fisherman in a small village in Bangladesh named Amina. Amina earns $2 a day, has no formal education, and knows little or nothing about food, health safety, or environmental sustainability standards. Amina is like millions of people living worldwide in lower income countries. Now, I would like you to put yourself into the shoes of Amina and think about the impact of trade restrictions imposed by industrialized nations on the livelihood outcomes of these people due to non-compliance with international standards. Import restrictions can exacerbate their already impoverished condition and their capacity to feed themselves. That is why my research examines how international trading systems perpetuate inequalities because international standards are set by the developed nations and poor developing nations have little or no advocacy in formulating them. My research, however, recognizes health safety concerns are vital. So lower to middle income countries have got two options, either to comply with the standards or to stay out of the market. You'd think the preference is clear for them, but so are the cost and the institutional challenges that each option poses. So there is a need to create an equitable international trading system. However, there are two key challenges. The first one is for developed nations to understand their dominance in global trading system. And the second one is recognizing the huge social and economic disparities this dominance creates among nations. So my PhD thesis proposes a global consensus on standards that will consider and accommodate the unique context of high, middle, and especially lower income countries. I call the standards from pond to plate, a process that includes checks at all points of the supply chain of the food source. Working from the ground up, from the level of Amina, so to speak, I aim to change, improve, the life outcomes of the people like Amina and for future generations of population that are currently discriminated against in international training systems. Thank you very much.